Howdy folks, and welcome to the 24th session of Deep Blues and Apocalypse World Adventure. Uh, as always, I'm joined by my good friends, uh, Michael. Hello. Jacob. Hello. And Sethifer. <laughs> Hello. Uh, so it's been a while, huh? Yeah. A good at least like three or so months. Yeah, that's okay. We're back on the open road again. We always seem to just take a good dumb goddamn long while. But hey, yeah, we're here again. Oh boy. So, uh, can any one of you tell me particularly like what happened last time? I fucked up. <laughs> yep, Seth uh, fucked up. Uh, well, cherries were on the ship. Three of them, in fact. Three cherries. Think about that. I got, I got, um, I got a yeah. hit on none of them. <laughs> they said their first words, and then you killed yeah. them. Yeah. I killed one in my sleep. Yeah, you did. Yeah, there were there were some strange apocalyptic visions and other fun apocalyptica, but. Yeah, we uh, had you a came sarcophagus on the ship, and it did some fucky stuff. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about Don't it. Worry about it. Uh, <laughs> I shot Lug and Giuseppe via the regulars on accident. On accident. Whoops. Whoopsie goosey guys. Fucky wucky. I, <laughs> I did a fucky wucky guys. Oh lord. Uh, so, um. Let's go ahead and mark stats. Uh, oh, hell yeah, dude. My favorite. We'll go ahead and... Yep, we'll go ahead and start with Michael. Uh, who has the highest HR, uh, HX with, uh, with Lug? I got three, baby. Jacob. Holy shit. Oh, whoops. I have... Sorry. I had to press my thing. I had plus three. Damn. Yeah. Every time. Well, fight for it. You want to do it? Sure. Um, Mark. Mark show. Okay. Mm, mark weird. Okay, those are exactly what I had marked already. That's good. Okay, I hope I haven't been like talking too long without my thing, but... Who knows? Uh, who has highest HX with Giuseppe? Two. Two. <laughs> you fucks. You go. My turn, Giuseppe. You will mark high. Okay. Um, That's my best stat. Mark cool. Alright. Not super good, but I can handle it. And finally, who has nice to... HX with the bestest baby boy, oh, Rusty. Three. Plus two. How do you got a three? You shot me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not bonded because you shot me. <laughs> Alright, tell me my poison. I feel like you're gonna need to do some, like... Like manipulation, so it mark hot. All right, marked hot. Mark weird. I should have oh, already boy. had that marked. I should not erase the weird marking. <laughs> Weird's a good stat. Weird's a good stat. Even better now that I have an advantage. I still have minus one. Minus one. <laughs> All right. Um, if you do one more damage to me, I can plus one weird when I revive. Okay. I'm Let's roll start. starting moves. All right. Let's roll starting moves. Um. Let's start with Bonefield. All right. I'm a little anxious now, because that's right. Starting moves. <laughs> I'm sorry. I want to rebel. I have a good opportunity to fuck you over. That's nice. What? What do you mean what? what you and mean? when you fail like that, <laughs> oh jeez. Well, Nobody's having a good time. We got hungry can I, can disease, I roll baby. Out my, can I roll out my ones first, first hand? No. no. No, we gotta we gotta die on this hill. <laughs> yeah, you do know that bone field when you fail it means that I can put you in a you know in a trapped or otherwise uh, disposed uh, situation, right? Lug suddenly finds himself at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> He's in the sarcophagus. No. <laughs> what have I done? He was a skeleton. Hmm. Okay, so disease and what was the other one? Hunger, disease and hunger. Um, okay, do we have? Do you have any ideas of what you want those to be, or do you want them just to be like straight up? They uh, hunger for more bloodshed. Disease can be straight up. Hunger can be straight up. Or okay. hunger for blood. More, more bloodlust. Uh, <laughs> they got their taste. <laughs> oh God. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, you two. <laughs> I know I said so. So, I mean, whatever happens, it's my fault after this. 
I accept it. <laughs> so hungry, hunger for blood and disease. Yeah, bloodlust and disease. Okay, okay. You really did this, huh? <laughs> Well, could, this is gonna be a bad session. I already can. I already have bad mojo. All right, so uh, let's uh, let's start the session with um, Giuseppe. Uh, you've been hurt pretty bad. Uh, where, like, how are you dealing with that? Um, probably like, lots like of bed rest, or probably like a lot of bed rest. Like, I guess mostly I was shot in the body a lot, so I probably can still walk around. Maybe like an arm that I can't move very well. So I'd probably still be at maybe the, maybe a few maybe like a little bit of the day spent at the bar in the Exodia Plus. But other times I'd probably like be lying in either personal quarters or over getting treated by Quill. Okay. Yeah, Do I, I need think to that, pay Quill um, Barter for this treatment. Uh, um, you owe her. Uh, you and you and Lug owe her. No, I thought okay. because we used the medical supplies. Oh, yeah, you are right. From uh, Lug's cachet. I mean, you owe her for the, like, treatment. But, like, Lug is, like, kind of let off the hook because it's his shit. Okay. You're still kind of on the hook. <laughs> Rip to Giuseppe. And, of course, she, like, you know, kind of fucking is back to kind of like, uh, Rusty. Yeah, don't worry, I understand. It's no, a very, like, it. up and down relationship. Yeah. <laughs> really. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think you're, like, at the end of another, like, you know, uh, bandage dressing, you know, exchange or what is it? What the word is it? bandage change? Dressing's mm. right, I think. Yeah. Uh, when I think Carp uh, comes up um, as you like exit the the door. Hey, Cope, how's it going? Sorry about like me being like disposed all the time. I'd hang out with you more otherwise. No, my good friend, you should not feel bad. I have failed you. You do not fail me. This sort of um... speak not. A knight of my caliber, glad wincing at the thought of fighting some strange being. Truly, I have fallen so low. Do you require more training? I do not believe that training can fix this. I think the only thing that can fix this is penance, and for that, Giuseppe, I offer you my allegiance. And he steps down onto his uh his knees and like holds his mace uh and kind of like you know sideways like somebody offering them to like be knighted. Oh very well. I'm I'll have your servitude, I guess. And he like gets just like he doesn't really have like anything to knight him with, but he like pulls out a beer ball out of his pocket and like does the motion. You're supposed to use his mace, but okay. Yeah, well, I, I do <laughs> no. it with both. No, it's just that's better okay. that he just doesn't understand what he's oh, wanting. Oh, that's, yeah, that's, that's very good. And uh, he's quiet for like almost a full minute before he stands up. He's like, thank you, Giuseppe. You have given me more than you know. And like you see, you see tears coming like out of the bottom of his helmet. Yeah, but you need to sit down for a while. No, I'll, I'll, get to, I'll, I'll begin my duties part. immediately. <laughs> I will go to the top of the ship, and I will, I will, I will begin fear training. Please, please don't hurt yourself. Um, I'll, I'll get, I'll get Bong to watch you. For the rest of the day, uh, every once in a while, you just hear like a very loud scream from Carp. <laughs> And then every once in a while, uh, was it? Sometimes it's a different person, but most often it's uh, a thistle comes like down the stairs, just like laughing her ass off. <laughs> God damn it, thistle! Oh, thistle! Come on, girl. Just um, spends the rest of the day wondering what kind of instrument he can get for cope. <laughs> did talk about the gun. This this rumored gun. Yeah, I'm sure we I'm sure we can let Carp figure that one out on his own. Mm, still got that crossbow. We'll see. No, oh, yeah, that would be a more of a Carp thing, huh? Granted, okay. remember that's Lugs. Like, yeah. Like, oh, Lug owns that. Yeah, don't did Lug ever get that back? I mean, I yeah, think just still has it. Oh, I don't know. It may have exchanged hands, but you have it now. 
Like, okay. it doesn't matter who had it for the last. Um, anyway, uh, Lug, um, what would you be doing all kind of banged up? I think he's uh, taken a bar stool, uh, not one that's bolted in, and I think he's kind of just using that as something to sit on while he's tinkering instead of his usual pacing and standing. Mm. Are you doing much laying down? Uh, he's planking on the bar stool. <laughs> of course. Understandable. Got to keep fit. Yeah. Um. So what are you tinkering on, though? Let's see here. Like, do you, are, is there a project you're working on, or is this just simply, like, passing the time tinkering? I had both. It was, I thought I had this written down. Uh, I have not put the gun onto the greasy pinky yet, have I? Nope. I think it would probably be something like that. Probably figuring out how to fit it all. Like, just kind of the, uh, the general, like, oh, I can't do much, might as well uh, do the things that I can do to get prepared for when I can do it. Right. Um, I don't remember, do you have the gun? Yeah, uh, I, I, I bought it from uh, Science, uh, yeah, science Lady, who uh, took it off of the pansy. Oh, right. Um, thanks for reminding me about that. We should have uh, taken the pansy into the mountain. <laughs> I think that would have been a lot like more obvious to people that something was happening. Yeah, don't worry, everybody. We're just bringing the fucking giant bomb into your home. It's efficient. Uh, it's practical. Okay, yeah, I think you can like basically have everything ready for like you can like essentially if you get when you what am I looking for when you want to you can uh, get that fitted in. You know, you have, like, essentially the encasement ready for the gun. Alrighty. Um, By the end of the week, at least. Uh, At any point, would you have been tinkering with, like, those those radios very much? Uh, Would that take anything? No. I guess guess he'd just be kind of, like, hopping through frequencies, trying to see if anything is happening. Okay. Uh, Yeah, I think at one point... Um, you get, well, actually, you get from the, uh, weird receiver, um, you get a message. Mm-hmm. Um, and specifically it is Lauren being like, turn on your goddamn radio. Mm-hmm. He looks over. And he looks at his goddamn radio. And he realizes, oh, fuck, this hasn't been plugged in. <laughs> Holy shit. This whole time. I think he plugs it in then. Okay, and after like a little bit of searching, you quickly find a a like kind of I think you essentially find Lorem's uh frequency. Uh where she like immediately recognizes that somebody's like kind of got on there and responds Who is this? Pog. You realize I've been trying to reach you for over a week now, right? Oh. Oh. You can make up for it by giving me a situation report. Uh. If you don't well, know what that means, tell me what's going on. Well, we found a, a black box, and uh, Jerry's were there. We don't know why, and... uh. He hesitates for a moment until realizing he just he just doesn't really like the regulars, so he doesn't really care. Uh, regulars shot me, and uh, Giuseppe. Acknowledged. Anything else? No. <laughs> that nope. was that was the highlight of the week. Understood. Millions is continuing its rebuilding efforts. It is mostly complete by now. Agriculture has continued at pace. However, the amount of mud is getting more and more personally annoying. (laughs) This is neither here nor there, however. Have you had any more tests with the howitzer? 
No, we haven't thought anything. Understood. That could use it. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, uh, regardless, but um, before she can continue that statement, uh, it's like. I don't know if you can hijack radio signals, but it happens regardless. And you hear something that uh, is relatively familiar to you. A little jingle that goes, do, 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 do. The new Eden project was quickly undermined as wealthy philanthropists rescinded their sizable donations, citing larger personal concerns. However, instead of abandoning the project entirely, they demanded direct supervision in exchange for their funding. And so, the Council of New Man was formed. Seven, fifteen, four, nine, nineteen, eight, five, eighteen, five. Do, 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 do. And regardless, it's a little bit annoying that whenever... Wait, have you been listening? Uh, you cut out. It's of no consequence. Regardless, please be a bit more attentive to your communications. The world is large and there are many things happening in it. It is. I'm glad we're on the same page there. Millions observation post one over and out. Goodbye. I think he just kinda hangs up. No uh no fanfare. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, no um, etiquette. Uh, if you want, he doesn't know. Here's a transcript of those numbers, and if you want, I can give you a transcript of like what was said. Hang on, let me open Google. <laughs> <laughs> Would every anybody well, like guys, a transcript of the message? When he comes down to remembering all this it. stuff. I okay, cool. What it says. <laughs> no, not the numbers. I mean, yeah, the like what was said. Oh yeah. The words. You eat in prose here. For, if, New Eden Project. Okay. It's been it's been handed over. What happened, what happened to the Eden? old Eden? Oh, you know. No, I don't. Damn, don't know the Bible. The Bible. The Bible. Isn't that the time when they got Eden, but where where they where they lived in an apple? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, Rusty, what oh. would you be doing uh, over the week? Well, I've had this prepared. Okay. <laughs> Over the week, Rusty mm -hmm. will be first and foremost uh scolding literally all his crew. Every last regular is getting a scolding for what they did. Uh, like how, how do you guys miss them? How how, how do you guys hit Bug and Giuseppe? They were on the ground. The the cherries were up. And doing all this and that with everybody. If anybody was listening, they would have probably heard it a good 15 times, maybe, this whole spill. Hmm. You guys have to do better, alright? Now, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> just so frustrated. Waving his hands everywhere. Just like, ugh. With everybody first and foremost, um, getting them to be like, hey guys, you guys gotta buck up. Get better, dude. Get better, dudes. Uh, after, you know, getting them to, you know, do better, work a little harder, and such. And you guys have to do something to apologize to them. Alright? That, that was not great. That was not good. That situation should not have happened this and that uh, hmm. um after that well for the rest of the week uh just, rusty is going to be busy using his new sewing and knitting stuff as just you know stress relief and everything tell me whenever it's the end of the week as well. I've got very specific <laughs> Just... interactions after this is done. Stress crocheting. Stress crocheting. I'm gonna make so many fucking scarves. I'm gonna make a goddamn hat and okay, well, throw it out. Uh, 
I think the reaction from your regulars is like kind of both aghast and like, you know, hey, that did really suck. I do like those two guys. It really does kind of suck. Thistle is, of course, unapologetic. Um, of course. But every, everybody else is pretty like, you know, they're not feeling great about it and like not great that you yelled at them for the, like the first time. Uh, but throughout the week, you notice that um, considering like, you know, how your role means that you didn't get any uh, barter, um, they kind of forego a lot of work in order to like, do a bunch of combat trading and they start to seem like they're getting a little too into it Oh, geez. you know like they start to like not just use whatever like garbage they have instead they're like actually using their actual weapons like for practice you know sparring with actual like knives and shit well time to go scold them for that too <laughs> you guys this is dangerous do not do this this is not getting better guys that makes people <laughs> anxious and just continuing to wave his hands and everything. He's turning red <laughs> by this point. He's just a radish at this point. <laughs> I think this time they don't necessarily take it to heart. You know that every time that they you like find them, they're not doing it. But like regardless, when you turn the corner or like before you turn the corner, you you're sure it. you hear the sound of like metal on metal. And well, shit. yeah, I know that sound a little too well at this right. point, so. But they're like kids who like, oh, you didn't see me. You didn't see me do it. I'm so frustrated at myself. Me, myself, I'm frustrated <laughs> over this. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Lord. But it seems that, like, while they're repentant for, like, hurting them, they're not repentant in, like, what they seem to see as, like, trying to get better. Yeah. Which is kind of the worst kind of shit. Yeah, boy, is it. Boy, is it. That sucks, dude. But Giuseppe, uh, since you have a probably a fair amount of free time from getting hurt and all that, um, you managed to actually decode the second part of All or Nothing. Yeah, that's. I was going to bring that up. I almost forgot about the All or Nothing. Yeah. Uh, it took so it took a long time because it was like quite a bit more sizable than the last uh, part. Um, would you like to? Was it, well, first, are you just reading it for yourself? Are you reading it to the whole crew? Just you three or what? Um, if I see something notable, I'll probably bring it up to like okay one of I'll the other two, you... one of the other main trio, or maybe my band, but like maybe not to the whole. Okay, I'll give you the text, and you can, I suppose, decide from there. Like, if you want to tell Lug or Rusty or the band or the crew, uh, if you want to like to read it yourself, you may. What would happen if humanity were to ascend as part of the light? Would the light gain a little of our ingenuity, our tenacity, our inescapable pursuit of more? Would it fracture as it took in our individuality? Or would it simply gain new perspectives? Are we good enough for ascension? Are we good for the light at all? Did it contact us simply because it watched us, seeing but unseen? Has it always been there? Did it come here from somewhere? Is it going somewhere? Is it lonely? Are there other things similar to the light? Do they love us or hate us? Do they care? Speculation, anxiety, the thoughts that rattle in those too analytical for their own good. They are of no consequence. There are no answers for us, not while we linger here. Not while the world is primed for burning. Already the kindling is being lit under our feet. More questions yet. Are there those amongst us who aren't simply afraid of the light, but hate it? Rumors abound of secret facilities built in mountains, or deep, or deep below our very feet, or far above the clouds. Funded by trillionaires, both public-facing and secretive. Places where dark-hearted people let their hate fester into abominable creatures. More speculation. More anxiety. The only real question is this. Will we, or won't we? We're well past our final turn on this planet. Nothing we do from now could, never, could ever fix what we allow to happen. We must either find solace in the one being that has loved us unconditionally, or face the th sins of our fathers and their fathers before them. The sins of inaction, apathy, greed, and hatred. There's nothing else. And the title for that section is Questions and Answers. Mm. Giuseppe does not know how to, like, take much of this, but he does decide to, like, show it to Lug and Rusty when he gets a chance. He's, I, I get, he's, like, irritated with Rusty, but he has, like, noticed that he's been, like, trying to crack his crew, so, like, he's not really, like, that longing upset at Rusty for the whole incident. Oh well, you should be a little upset. 
he's a little, just not like as much as he would be if he hadn't noticed Westy starting to come back to things. If you didn't hear the same spiel like 13 times. Um, do Lug and Westy have anything to say on this? Westy's a little stressed out still. I mean, we this. all are stressed. Um, hey, I think this would be an actual good time to mention the what happened last session with what happened when I touched the box. Uh, well, that first part seems a little familiar to me. Uh, I did, whenever I touched that weird box out on the uh, deck. I guess it's the deck, yeah. I don't know both parts about that. <laughs> I did have this weird vision where people were around me and talking to me. Something about... Ah, fuck, I wish I had wrote down everything. I'm sorry. It's all good. Didn't come in as um, if I remember correctly, they talked about, like, allowing you to... Or allowing... Yeah, allowing them to save you. Um... About them being sorry. Yes, yeah, something is hurting you. You should get rid of it. Uh, uh, I don't remember that part. I don't remember that part. I thought they were something is hurting you. I thought that was like at the tail end, maybe, or somewhere in the middle. Maybe misremembering that. I know they said that they love Rusty and always love <laughs> Rusty. <laughs> I don't mention that part. Because I know that they're a little upset at me. More than just a little upset at me. Because whenever I look at Lug, it's obvious that he's just not happy to be around Rusty. It's obvious. Can I get a look at you two? How are you guys doing? Uh, I think Lug is just, he's still working. But like, if he notices that Rusty is looking at him, he kind of like... He's trying not to make it obvious, mind you. He, 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 yeah, but he is. Yeah. Right? Yeah, he is looking, trying right. not to make it too obvious, but he is looking, that is a fact. Uh, well, if Lug were to note it, I think that he would, uh, kind of, like, eh, push his back a bit more towards Rusty and continue working. You know, just kind of ignoring him more. That's okay, understandable. What about Giuseppe? How's Giuseppe's reaction? What's what's this in context so to? So Sorry. just being around Rusty. Probably like a little nervous. Less more so when like he's being followed by a bunch of his cultists. By a yeah. bunch of the regulars. That's understandable. But like Giuseppe's always like more anxious about other things that's going on. He's kind of upset about being on the metal boat for so long. He's Annoyed by his injuries and just like not knowing what's going on at all. The Jerry thing, especially, just like them talking and yeah, he doesn't know what to make of it yet. So, yeah, he's probably not gonna like react too much. Maybe just like be a little quieter, but mostly he's got his own issues. Does a log have anything about this right here? These paragraphs. Uh, like I said, he is pretending to listen. He's pretending to listen, so he got none of that. Yeah. Realistically, he didn't want to be a single Full attention. squad don't know a damn thing. <laughs> Head empty. We can translate it, we can't understand it. You were talking about your vision, though? Yeah. I, I got it out. Vision. Oh. Uh, like I said, we, we've noticed the they, We've they noticed the us. egg stuck to us, do you, haven't we? Or have we not? Uh, the egg's still stuck to Rusty. I don't think we've talked about it. I feel like we're just choosing not to talk well, yeah, about I it. Yeah, I think we're choosing not to talk about it. Yeah, Giuseppe is just like he does. He's not. Well, he doesn't. He doesn't want to have to care about it at the moment. It's not your problem up until it is. <laughs> I hate that you're right. <laughs> you you hate that I'm right. You hate that everything that's going to go wrong in this session is because of me. Yeah. <laughs> Even the bad rolls. Uh, Speaking of the egg, I should mention that uh, it has been more or less inert. Inert. Um, inert. Just kind of like not really doing anything. No particular pulsating light or anything. Oh. 
That's worse than normal. That's worse. Yeah, that's agreed. I can agree on that. That's worse than normal. It's not even pulsing <laughs> anymore. Russ is a bit too stressed out about literally everything. So in preoccupying his time, he's been a little, unfortunately, negligent to the egg with everything <laughs> going on, with all the stress and metal clanging everywhere and being like, my God, please, please give me strength to survive this week without harming anybody. <laughs> Very understandable. Um, if nothing else, uh, we can pass the week uh, and we can be in hidden. Oh, wait, before we get in hidden. Go ahead. Okay, well, at the end of the week, pre-hidden, I, I have gotten done with things. It's 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 shoddy, by the by. All the stuff that I've done is shoddy. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go over to Giuseppe first, because I know he's less mad at me than Lug is. Alright, so where would Giuseppe be hanging out at? Um, at the moment, like, considering this is, like, a bit after he's healed a bit, he'd probably be sitting at the bar, like... He probably still can't play his instrument yet, so like he's a bit stressed about that. But mostly he's probably sitting behind the bar, maybe like reshuffling the drinks. Okay. Hey, you see Rusty come in? He's holding something, all right. And he's he's walking up to you, Giuseppe. Hey, uh, oh. Uh... Hey, Giuseppe. Uh, I just want to say I'm sorry about what happened back there. It really shouldn't have happened. And I know this isn't gonna change things and probably not help but uh and he holds out the cloth and he holds it, gives it to you I, I made this for you during the thing uh and on top of this bundle is the pin that Rusty's had he's given it to you I, I'm not quite sure if the, the pin is exactly what you you collect but I've noticed you've collected a few things here and there from uh the old times or the before times uh, so there you go. You, if Rusty's handing you something, do you take it? Um, he like picks it up and then takes a look at it. Sees like what the quality looks like. It's poor. It's uh, you notice on some of the various cloth is things that would be related to quote unquote music, as far as Rusty would know. You know things. There are things that are correct as far as music goes. There's musical notes on some. F pieces of cloth there's instruments you recognize the instruments so that's true all right um and there's there's a weird section in it that you notice that seems a little out of place do you want do you, you want to unfold that for me he, he's gonna gesture like hey yeah. there's more yeah he he flips it okay you notice it's 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 very long it's just a scarf with various just poorly sewn together <laughs> t-shirts and but you unravel it and it's a scarf it's shoddily mate it's just looks like it was sewn together by a bunch of different t-shirts and various pieces of cloth it's a little on the thin side and there's something that catches your eye something that doesn't look music at all uh it's it's got a green background no brown background pardon Miss Road. Um, and some things you kind of recognize. There's a weird green T with the arms folded up. It's got little black lines on it. Uh, don't know what that's at, but you do recognize that there is a hat similar to one that uh, Silver has on it, but the hat's brown. Not Doesn't look like Silver's exactly. And on it, the biggest thing on it, mid-center, is, you don't know what it is, but it does look like one of uh, the Janiers, one of their heads. It's got a long neck, weird brown body, <laughs> long legs. It looks kind of, yeah, you question this thing. It looks like it's got hooves on the bottom, long hair on his butt, long hair on the neck. Weird long ears, weird long mouth, big nose. Your questions. You don't know. You don't know what it is, do you? Yeah, I don't. Uh, don't. Should I like? I I point. Just have you like points to it a bit. <laughs> you don't. You just point. Rusty shrugs. Like I don't know. I thought you'd like it. It looked pretty neat. 
He like looks over the whole thing for a second, just like, hmm. But like at the end, he shrugs his shoulders and he like looks over to see where a good spot for it on his shelf would be. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to think of what this is. The cap is Giuseppe. The engineer is Lug, and the weird thing is uh, Rusty's persona. When did Rusty get a persona? I forgot that arc of the story. <laughs> All right, so you've been given a scarf. I'll I'll so tell guess... you right now because. I think somebody's, everybody's confused. It's a horse. It's a horse. It's a horse. <laughs> no, we can we can do this in like character. You know, just no, like, but they don't this? know. No, they don't know it's a horse. I'm telling for you guys. Oh, what? I'm saying oh, okay. for you guys. <laughs> How do you have a conception of a horse without knowing like the word horse? No, well, he. I'm describing he what's on it. I'm describing what was on the t the scarf part. Oh, you somehow put a horse there. No, it was on a t-shirt that he'd cut up and sewn onto the scarf that he made. Oh, okay. he ju it's just an assortment of t-shirts sewn together. <laughs> okay, that's all okay, it is. Okay, I'm not sure how you crocheted that, but all right. Listen, it's okay. No, it's, no, it's not crocheted. He it's just sewn together. He it's just sewn together. Some parts are crocheted very poorly, mind you. Of course. But it's mostly just a bunch of t-shirts sewn Golly. together. To form this scarf. It's pretty thick. Uh, not too thick, but it's an okay thickness because of how many t-shirts he sacrificed for this thing. It's not that long, but it is a bunch of t-shirts sewn together. One of which has a horse cowboy t-shirt on it. <laughs> just, As you do. Just because he thought it looked cool. <laughs> uh, is that one of the... The the engineer's a horse. Yeah, that's why I mentioned. The oh, because <laughs> you got a horse. In... <laughs> I didn't remember that part. You don't remember. remember. That's you okay. Got a horse man. <laughs> yeah, you, you got a horse man on your ship, dude. Uh, right. So you've been given this scarf and are trying to find a place to put it yet? I don't think it's like scarf weather to wear it. So like. I don't think you'll nice ever find scarf it. weather. That's okay, it looks nice. It's fashionable. <laughs> he like displays it for now, just like, well, he can't like go show it off while <laughs> he's... Okay, well... Like, uh... He like eventually like drapes it over like a bear part of the wall, <laughs> like somewhere near the flags. Somewhere near the All for everyone to see. <laughs> Put it and on the damn he fridge. Puts... He puts the little pin, just like... He straps it to his shirt, actually. Oh, nice. He hangs it on the wall, but then he puts something else over it. <laughs> He's not that mean. <laughs> yeah, Giuseppe doesn't have a mean bone in his body most of the time. <laughs> uh, well, if that's that, is that that? I think so. That's all you have to say on that? Well, just like, I guess he just like gives like a little thank you. Do um, you want a drink? Uh, sure, I'll take a drink before I head over to the log. He gives him something like relatively light, isn't one that really like too like kooky. Okay, it's like it's pretty standard one and splits it with him. Thanks, man. No problem. Uh, he gives a, just a a huff sigh, like he's not he's not prepared. He's not ready. He know he doesn't want to do this, but he's got to. He knows luck's gonna be the worst part of this. So, um, go back to the room, grab something else, and I'm gonna go over to Lug. You'd say Lug is in his workshop, right? Uh, no, I think he'd be outside. Or actually, yeah, he'd be outside by the little, uh, boat platform to boat? raise up the boats, because he's working on the, 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 gre the greasy pinky. Greasy pinky. Okay, well, shlop, shlop, shlop right on over there. Uh, hey, Lug, sorry to bother you. Can I, can I get a minute? <clears throat> uh, hey, listen, I just want to apologize for what happened back then. <sighs> that shouldn't, that really shouldn't have happened. I'm sorry, yeah. man. It shouldn't have. I know this isn't going to make it up to you. There, I don't think I could ever make it up to you, dude. But, uh, and he hands out uh, a knitted little thing. It is a hat. 
a small knitted hat. It's not small. It could fit on a uh, lug's head. And uh, sewn in it is a duck cut from a t-shirt. And there's something inside of this hat. I mean, I, and I've noticed that, you know, with the metal hat that it seems to be burning. So I thought I'd make you this hat. And he hands over the bundle. Mm. You want to take the bundle? Uh, hey, hey. I think he'll take it. What he, he looks it up and down and around. Okay. Anything else? Uh, there is something interesting. Wrapped, there's something wrapped in it. Okay. All right. You gonna unwrap it? Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. it's a firebomb. Wrapped oh. in the hat. Is this is this the same <laughs> yes, it one? Is. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> he's had it this whole time, and he's just gonna give it back because he's he completely forgot <laughs> that he had it first and foremost. Second of all, oh yeah, I know I know Lug likes this kind of stuff. And uh looking around, if you if you look at it, you looking at it? Looking at everything in the hat? Yeah. Yeah. You yes. see you see in the hat. There's a small pocket on the inside of the hat. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's that's the only other defining feature of this hat. Nothing in it. N nothing in the pocket. Okay. Yeah, that's it. You got a got a little beanie looking hat with a duck sewn on it from a t-shirt, cut out of a t-shirt. That that's been lovingly crocheted, but it doesn't look great. It's good enough. Doesn't look great. Okay, it you said it's like a beanie? Like a beanie looking thing, yeah. Slide mm -hmm. it on your head. And it's got a little pocket in it to hold something. Not a big one, you could probably hold like, I don't know, two shotgun shells in it. That's it. You can't put anything okay. else in it. <laughs> Shotgun shells only. Sorry, dude. <laughs> I think he kind of reaches up and touches his plate. Kind of rubs around on it to just kind of feeling it out. And he kind of looks at the hat. Thanks. I guess. And he kind of Plops it down on his head in an awkward way, because he's he can't he's not really like yeah he can't put it he on has he head. has that strap yeah. around and he and like he could just like you know like put it the strap around it but he not doesn't right he, not right now <laughs> yeah well man I hope I hope your work turns out good thank you for at least let hear me out yeah. I'll let you get on it. I think I'm going to walk off with a wave. Uh, when you turn around, you notice that uh, at the door is like 10 engineers all stacked up at the sides looking in. And it's they like go, oh, that's just adorable. And then they all walk off. <laughs> I'm Fuck so sorry. The... <laughs> Fuck up that they just built a door out here. <laughs> yeah, he's outside. Oh, I forgot about that part. Whatever. They, they you, see, you see them hiding frame. behind. <laughs> you, you see them hiding behind like various door frames or whatever. <laughs> You know, some of them are hanging out the side of the boat. Um, one of them's like hidden, like behind the black sarcophagus. One of them's in it. One of them's in it, yeah. One is actively putting the lid back on. <laughs> and then it's they all the just disappear. Inside. Then they all just disappear. Uh, yeah, that's that's what I got though. Yeah, that's what I call character development, eh, boy? Uh, hey, hey, boys. Boys. <laughs> hey, boys. <laughs> The weirdo's finally feeling apologetic about something that's happened to his crew. Several of them clap you on the shoulder like, hey! <laughs> and everybody clapped. <laughs> and everybody clapped, including Einstein. <laughs> Who's this fucking weird-haired fucker <laughs> who joined your crew suddenly? He's, he's been in the bar the whole time. While everything just, was going on. He's just, he's not part of the crew. He's some rando who got like, he, he didn't realize the ship was leaving and it's like, well, I'm here now. Yeah. <laughs> During the battle on millions, he was there the whole time. He followed Carpon and was just like, I guess I'm here now. Yeah, I guess I'm here. <laughs> I keep bringing people off this boat, they just arrive. <laughs> they just manifest oh, yeah. into forms on the boat. <laughs> but sometime later, uh, you, as you're approaching Hidden, you certainly feel the boat kind of going back into its normal uh, sort of 
what's the word you know it's it, the engine basically like losing its weird supernatural bullshit mm -hmm. and it feels very like sluggish and like uncomfortable to you now um but regardless you see hidden in the uh, on the horizon and as it comes closer hidden looks pretty normal oh thank god Nothing's burning. It isn't some sort of huge spiring mountain. It's just a place. That makes me feel even more anxious. Um, when you actually dock, uh, the, the people certainly gawk at the ship, uh, but they don't really like pay you much more attention than that. Like it almost feels a little bit cold, like a kind of an outsider's kind of thing, but like a little more personally. Mm -hmm. But not personal enough that you could say that this that they hate you or anything. Um, but you are in a new place. Um, what would y'all like to do? Um, I'll probably start with Giuseppe, because you probably want to do Art of the Deal, right? Yep, that's uh, 2d6 plus what, Shope? Uh, oh. If I remember correctly. No, maybe Hot. Let me it check. It probably is. Yeah, roll plus Hot. Okay. Come on, let's get a good roll this time. And... Oh, okay. Okay. okay, not this great, not terrible. Yay. You have received uh, two barter for the day. Uh, it is, if you get a partial success, it is one barter per week. You've been out two weeks. Okay, um, you want one of this barter plug? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> Here you go. And you give Now each of you have one brain cell to rub together. <laughs> please don't say it like that. <laughs> yeah, okay. we, we didn't have any, but we didn't have, we used up all our barter to last ship, so like, yeah, I mean, it turns out that was actually kind of a bad idea. <laughs> Having some spending money is uh important. Mm -hmm. Not my fault. The so the gun was expensive. Have, how much? <laughs> how much would you say have healed since we? Both of you have healed. Uh, I'll say two sections. Okay. Um, Lug, what are you doing now that you've landed in a new place? Uh, I think Lug, being kind of skeptical after everything that has happened and also everything that has happened, uh, is taking a little bit time off from working on his stuff to. Kind of scout out the area. Uh, see if there's any good hiding spots. Good spots to be ambushed from. Anyone that looks like they would want to kill them. Understandable. Understandable. I think um, it's not exactly a labyrinthine place. It's relatively open. Like Most of the buildings are actually pretty large. It's not like Velcro or uh, Hollister, oh, where like... There's lots and lots of small buildings that create just a horrible maze. Uh, it's pretty easy to navigate. Um, it's just that there's lots of people who have like stalls or like small structures that are in the open area. Uh, and then, of course, most of the space is taken up with like large, almost warehouse like buildings. Otherwise, nobody looks like they want to hurt you. But there's a lot of folks who walk around that are pretty big and look like they're packing. Every once in a while, you catch like glimpses of like torn posters that look like they have like sometimes you'll see like certain weird faces on them some have the word join uh but otherwise most of the posters are all torn down um otherwise uh you pretty much get a good lay of like where you're at i think by the time that uh the scene really starts you'll well where would you like to be in general in the place like you know kind of the commons area uh near the markets uh I think markets would be a good place for shit to go down. Okay. Uh, and finally, uh, Rusty. Um, now that the week's gone up, you started to kind of notice that your people are kind of like looking pretty ucky. Oh, no. You're not sure what it is, but some sort of bugs kind of run through them, and a lot of them are looking kind of green. If only they weren't like touching each other, fighting. Yeah, constantly. If only they yeah, didn't. They, a lot of them probably have tetanus. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, like they they want to like they want to get up and go and you know do shit, but like they're just like. Ugh. I did this I to myself. Um, you could you think... could certainly order them to do that, and like you could convince them to like get out and follow you, but they're kind of just they're kind of. I don't want to force them to do <laughs> that because they got. They're more trouble than they're worth at the moment. Yeah, they are. They really are with all the knife fighting. Like Dan, stay on the boat. Just stay on the boat. Time out, dude. Mm -mm. Y'all are in time. Some out. of them don't want to like. A lot of them are very tired, but don't want to sleep. So like, like a couple of them, just like the more goofy idiots, uh, like um, roll. Let's see. I'll say AC 
and uh, Murgo are just like every once in a while slapping each other in the face to be like, <laughs> stay awake. Just kind of like as, as some sort of stupid like bro kind of thing. Yeah. Even though neither of them are bros. Listen, it's just a bro thing. It's just a bro thing. Don't. don't Eventually, worry. of course, they fall asleep. Yeah, of course. Uh, well, yeah, guess. they they're not in great shape. Well, yeah, just leave them on the boat. Damn, finally a goddamn break <laughs> from these fools. Uh, you do you do get nickel and, and zinc kind of walking up to be like, "Hey, Giuseppe, are we gonna go?" Uh, I'm not I... Giuseppe. Oh, <laughs> uh, you, you yeah. You should probably stay on the boat. You know yeah, what to do good. I think. Uh, no, we're fine. I'm not sure. Like just. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, I don't think I look anything like Giuseppe, but I guess thank you. You should really stay on the boat, though. Okay. And they shuffle off. <sighs> so what are you doing in this wonderful new place? Well, in this wonderful new place, after looking around, I can't buy anything. I have zero but money. No barter at all. Poor boy. I'm gonna put on a show. I'm gonna just fall Lord help me, but I'm back on my shit. <laughs> Lord help me, I'm back on my shit. I'm gonna be doing a f fancy smancy show again. Okay. Swallowing. Um, roll me and open your brain. Open my brain, yay! Oh my, my keyboard's not even on. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was like, what's going on? Why isn't it be doing good, anything? Good. Okay, uh, you do your usual show, um, but I think in the middle of it, it becomes a little more like, I don't know, you get like a weird feeling, and you start to like kind of get little like, you know the way that like if you like close your eyes real hard and then you open them, you still see weird shapes? Yeah. It's like that, except the shapes are like more crisp, but still blurry, and you kind of see the image of like two giants uh, smiling at each other across a vast open plain while like very small little soldiers like crash against each other between them <laughs> don't like that uh but by the end of it you have to barter one barter just one you got a partial success dude come on they didn't like that damn no they liked it enough they gave you something that's of worth somebody accidentally threw their wallet on the ground yeah yeah that's it <laughs> You up. snatched it up and was like, find your keepers. <laughs> no, Rusty would not. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I got one farter. Anything interesting? No, I'm, just, I'm joking. I'm going to save that one farter. <laughs> I am just going to peruse a little, though. See what's that. What's, what's what? I'm going to peruse. Good. Yeah, peruse the market. Well, I think before you can particularly peruse, uh, Giuseppe, as you're like kind of packing up your stall a bit, a hooded figure literally like fucking crashes over like your the little like stand that you've got oh boy like just crashes over it knocks it over and then just like keeps running uh hey hey matt hey, what do you oh he's gone there's... he's not gone because he looks back and you see someone pretty familiar um there's no deep blue denim pants or stark white shirt and certainly no no uh, name tag uh but you know that face and he looks at you and he gets like panicked and then just like starts scrabbling even faster away. I look over to like my like bandmates and like, uh, should I like go after him? Who the fuck is that dude? Uh, that's Slops, right? No, that's fucking Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Deep blue denim, you fucking. I mean, no, I don't. I didn't think Jerry. That, 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 that was luck, right? Slops isn't even on the boat anymore. I don't know who went to hidden. I'm I'm a moron, okay? I didn't think Jerry I thought Jerry would see me and then attack me. No, not this one. Remember the other okay, one? Okay, is this okay, us? I guess this is, yeah. Some of them aren't I'm aren't sorry. Like I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. Um yeah, I'm gonna Okay. Let's let's re let's erase all that, yeah. We'll say that I said the right thing the first time. Okay, so yeah, that's like that weird Jerry guy, huh? Um, should I go after him? <laughs> I think Quill slaps you on the back of the head. Yes, you fucking idiot. Okay, uh, um, okay, I'll be right back, guys. You man the st man the stall. If you think I'm in danger, come after me.
Christ. and he runs off. Guys. Smacking himself in the head for being like a moron. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. As, as Giuseppe takes off, uh, I think you're relatively nearby uh, Rusty, and you, you see, like, one, a panicked hooded figure that, like, turns to you and sees you and is like, oh, fuck. And, yeah, that's fucking Jerry. And then is immediately followed by uh, <laughs> Giuseppe trying to keep up. Uh, what do you do? But, hey, can I make a guess? We've we, Have we seen this particular Jerry? He looks very familiar. Is like, he... especially, like, the demeanor and, like, kind of well, uh, I... panicked well, <laughs> existence. Well, if, if we've seen this Jerry before, then I know who it is. I'm going to run on over. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to follow suit. Um, yeah, can I get... Here. Um, choose which... Well, let me think. Yeah. Uh, can I get both of you to roll, uh, you're the cat? Yeah, that's slash cool, right? Um, yeah, that's in the subterfuge moves. Roll plus cool. Damn! Pretty good. This may be pretty slapstick, but let me... Whoa, oh, never mind. <laughs> Where to have that roll so, last session? Uh, to read this out, because this is probably the first time we've actually... Well, second time we yeah, might have used time. this. When you're the cat, roll plus cool. On a hit, you'll catch your prey out. On a 10 plus, you've driven them uh, first to a place of your choosing, say where. On a 7 and 9, you've had to follow them where they wanted to go. We'll say that because you got a partial success, uh, Rusty, you'll just be a little bit behind. That's okay. Because you'll be following Giuseppe. Yeah, that's okay. Um, but where would you like to have chased uh, Jerry Prime? This location Lug is in right now, if we want to drag him into this. Uh, he's in the uh, markets. Well, like, do you mind if we crash into your markets? This is a you decision. <laughs> hmm. Whatever, like, empty, like, alley near the markets we can get to. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's just, like, trying to knock shit over in your path, and you're just not having it, and you're just, like, vaulting over while Rusty kind of, like, eh, kind of gets caught on it a little bit. You know, he stumbles a bunch, and you're just like vaulting over that. Because you got so good, you'll also notice that there's another group that seems to be chasing him. Uh oh. What do these uh, people look like? Are they hooded? One is has a cowl on, and you see that they've got a m metal mask. Uh, ah. But you can't get a very good look at it. Time to eat. The others seem to be, um, kind of standard goon fare. Um, but they've they're they're gaining as well. He just keeps ahead of them. He's not going to worry to quite yet. Okay, yeah. Uh, you crash into an an alley uh, that seems to be a dead end, and I think yeah, uh, we'll say Lug is there as well. He just like you're taking a little break. It's a lot of loud noises. Your metal head kind of like rings sometimes when it's too loud, uh, and you were taking a break. Uh, this motherfucker just like slams like past you, and then just as me like. Fuck, and then Giuseppe's like right back on him. What do you do? So he 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 bumped into me, right? Yeah. Can I roll to like grab him immediately after? Yeah, sure. What would I roll? Just a straight roll. Um, do you want to intimidate him? I think. Uh... Like, okay. First, let's figure out what are you doing. You want to grab force. him? Okay, go ahead. Um, seize by force. Do you want to hurt him? Or. Mm, uh... No hesitation. No, it like... is <laughs> okay. It is the variation of keep hold of something you have. Okay. Um. How about seized by force? But one of the options has to be do not do damage. Right. Be good. Be good. Okay, so okay. keep hold. Let's see. It was um keep hold of something you have and do no damage. So yeah, you've you've essentially done it. Okay. Um. Yeah. He bumps into you and you kind of like round on him and grab him by the collar. And, like, I think his back is to you, Giuseppe. Uh, Jerry's back is to you. And, like, Lug is facing you. And, like, Lug, you're just like, what are you doing with him? What the fuck? <laughs> and I, th I, th I think he kind of, like, yanks him back a bit. Right. The hood Towards falls him. off of his head. And, like, you can see this is full on. This is, a, this is Jerry, though. Without the, you know, kind of cold, murderous eyes and complete lack of empathy. I think he lets out a letter. What the fuck? Giuseppe, like, stops himself by the heels just, like, before he, like, crashes into both of them. 
and then like steps back a little bit because he's still not comfortable being close to anyone who looks like Jerry. Okay, and then kind of coming up the back, Rusty, you're coming by, but from your vantage point, Rusty, you can see the people that you didn't notice uh, kind of stepping off of the roofs nearby, oh. kind of, uh, you know, plopping right behind uh, Lug, and hey, your bone feel was bad. Um, Lug, you're caught in a hold, and you have a knife to your neck. Damn. What the? Okay, so Lug's got a knife to his neck. Yep. Uh, so the person who's grabbed him is uh, Giuseppe. You recognize the person in the cowl uh, with the metal mask. Now you see the metal mask has like kind of the uh, the face of like a, la- a grinning demon on it, um, sort of worked into the metal. Okay. Uh, she rasps out, "You're here early, a week early. We can still make this work." I think uh, she gets real close to your ear. Don't move a muscle. Uh, the rest of her cadre seems to have like their guns raised as well. I know who you are, but more than that, that more important than that. Is I know who he is, and she kind of like nudges towards uh just or uh, not just Happy Prime, Jerry Prime. Uh, I don't want you. In fact, I wasn't even supposed to meet you. Nobody has to die here, but if you do, I know how to kill at least one of you. Can I use reputation? You sure can. I may do a roll actually too, but we'll see. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, wait a minute, so, actually. Uh, reputation. Well, that's for... a miss. They have heard of you. Or. Er... On 10 plus, you take plus one for dealing with them. Uh, on a hit, they've heard of you. You say what they've heard. Yep. On a miss, they've heard of you, but MC decides. So I get to decide what they've heard. Sure thing. Is is it possible for me to say that they were bluffing and they said that I know who you are? <laughs> sure. So, like, who are who do they know you as? Uh, can I just say they don't actually know who I am in the bluffing? Okay, but they know the other two? Maybe it's the hat. <laughs> <laughs> they don't realize that you're Lug. Yeah, they they, uh, they don't see a brain plate. Yeah, they thing. think you're grass. Yeah. They think I'm grass. Yeah, they think, they think I'm grass. Yeah. Okay. Let's go with that. They think I'm grass, and they don't know why grass is here. And they don't know who grass is. They just think I'm grass. Okay. Uh, but she continues to rasp out. It seems you want the boy, too. Am I right? I mean, I just sort of came here to trade. I, I don't know what's going on. Seppi's, like, stepping, like, as ba- as far back as he can while she's keeping an eye on everything. I think uh, Jerry certainly does look towards you as a, please don't let me, don't get me, please. <laughs> he, like, nods in his direction, but just, like, still doesn't move from his position. He wants to, like, have a good vantage point. Uh, Rusty, any, you're here. Uh, I'm here. Any they, particulars? They see me. Yep. They know I'm here. Great. Yay. Oh. All right. Interaction, I guess. Interaction, I guess. Can I roll frenzy? Would that mm, work? I don't know in this particular situation. There's not really a mob. There's not really a mob. Oh, that, you're yeah. right. This is more like a small gang, a group. Can I open up the playbook and look through the moves? Okay. Can I uh, read a sitch? Sure. I want to read a sitch. What is this? Roll sharp. Got it. Where is my sharp? It's at a one. Lord help me. Big oof. Well, I wanted I wanted to know what I should be on the lookout for, so give it to me straight. What should Rusty be looking out for? Mm, hmm. Give me the poison. <laughs> hmm. I think you. Um, okay, here's this. Uh, you do kind of realize that this may be somebody that you've heard of, or that like uh one of your uh, friends have told you about called Visage, Visage? Yeah. who is a underling of BG. Mm-hmm. But you extrapolate that into thinking, uh, Nickel is def- or not Nickel, what's this fucking- November is definitely here, and he's definitely looking for you. <laughs> oh boy, well, like, November. It does make, it does make a bit exactly of sense. Exactly what I wanted to see. Uh, well, okay, that's a- that's a situation red, for sure. Yep. But, uh, she continues to rasp out, I have a proposal. You see, this town is a society. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't like where you're going with this. Did she then pull out a gun and shoot like in the head? Absolutely, no. Uh, you got what you fucking deserve. Um, <laughs> she goes, uh, In this place, there are two warring factions. Join one. We will join the other. Whoever comes out on top gets the boy. We have a deal. Holy shit. We, ain't... we just got here. <laughs> he just mutters out under his breath, puts his hand, his claw on his forehead like, We just got here. <laughs> I think one of the one of the underlings shush, one of the underlings says, uh, well from the sounds of it, y'all really like to get yourselves in trouble before getting like kicked Holy in the shit. fucking like real hard in the leg by visage. Uh she doesn't look back, she just like donkey kicks him like in the fucking leg. 
like, uh, would she be, how upset would she be if when she does that, Lug kind of scooches his foot back to where hers was? So she, like, bumps into him? When she... Um, how upset would she be? Yeah. Like, would that piss her off? I don't think it would okay, here's, uh, you, you do that. Uh, and she's like, personal space, dude. <laughs> do we have an agreement? On the, on, on the personal space thing? Because I'd very much like to get out of this arrangement right now. You'll be out as soon as you agree. Yeah, I agree to the personal space thing. Can you let me go? I will stab you in the neck. I, well, listen, like you're not helping. listen, none of us want to be here right now. Listen, you listen. I have spent like, like, I have been listening. Playing for Peachy. Except he lost this all on fold, and he starts to realize that he really would have been rather caught in a storm than be dealing with more people. How surrounded are we? Quick question. Fully? Partially? Uh, I mean, not fully, but, like, there's, like, a bunch of people, like, behind you, just, like, people milling about in the market. And then, like, uh, in the dead-end side of the alley, there's a bunch of people with guns, as well as Visage, holding uh, uh, Lug in a, you know, kind of knife hold. Oh, that's not good. Okay. <laughs> Look, come on, dude. You gotta calm down. <laughs> Look, do you want to do the goddamn thing or not? I don't have the time for this. I was supposed to be out of here, like, right goddamn now. I wasn't even supposed to see any of you fucking chuckle fucks. <laughs> We decided to get here a week early. How does that happen? I don't know. God, we're both in, we're all in the shit. Look, I, I like I look over at like Lug and Rusty to see what they Lug, you know, Lug and Rusty to see what they think of this arrangement if they should go with it. Just be just willing to take the first thing that will let him like get out of this. Look, Val, I just don't want anybody to die here. I don't exactly have a large crew or anything. They're like family to me. You got family, Pop Punk. Yeah. No. You want them dead? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> No. I'm gonna take that as a no. What? what? <laughs> what? Uh, we don't even know the f different factions here. You get first choice. Scope them out. Just be done by today. Just be done by today. I don't like this. I, I don't like you. Like you. <laughs> as understandable, no, not a lot of people do nowadays. I'm gonna look at Jerry. <laughs> Jerry's probably like almost silently just pleading, just you know, like the uh, like holding hands clasped, like, uh. all right, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> gets him every time, yes, I, I'll it agree gets to this him too. every damn time. I think, uh, before she lets you go, yeah, before she lets you go, Lug, uh, she like looks over and like out of the alley and is like, hey, yo, there's like some guy walking by, and he's like, huh, get that guy, and she like nudges towards uh, uh Jerry, and he's like, what the hell. And like she like kind of motions to one of her underlings. I'll give you a shitload of money. Hold the guy hostage. All right. <laughs> and so they like get tossed a package and like, oh damn. And it's like, okay, come here. And they like pull out a gun. And it's like, okay, I gotta do this. I got paid. <laughs> you're just gonna like, uh, you're just coming to me. All right. Holy shit. And it's like, and then she like, you know, kind of takes the knife away, kind of like personal space, but like pushes you away, lug. This rocks. We'll be in touch. Yeah. Uh, could you get out of the alley? We'd like to like walk. Can we get out, please? Sure. Uh, I'd rather not you touch me again. I don't have to. Uh, you said you were gonna touch me again. No, we'll be. Look, it's a. <sighs> I fucking hate you people so much. Yeah, a lot of people do. Yeah. <laughs> I hate them too. For the yeah, heroes of millions, y'all are kind of like a bunch of fuck ups. Yeah. Yeah, we wouldn't be here if you weren't a bunch of fuck ups. You know, this is kind of like disillusioning, like when you meet your heroes or something, except not really. <laughs> These big strong people who brought down like a uh, like kingdom and it's like it turns out they're a bunch of shitheads. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Well, uh you have a nice day. Yeah, you do. Later. I'll see you around. Okay, bye. Uh, the the guy who's holding Jerry hostage is still kinda of just there. I'm gonna hey real, okay. quick, real quick, I'm gonna turn to Giuseppe and was like, Did that sound like silver? Giuseppe, Did that sound like silver to you? Giuseppe doesn't respond. He like starts to like kneel down push his legs out, and then just lie on the ground of the, the cold, dirty ground of this hidden, of, of hidden, and just I will say that, for, that, did, that certainly, for a while. I will say that didn't, certainly didn't look like silver. Didn't look like silver. Silver's really tall and wide. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he that just guy, sort of, just, the, he just the, lies on the ground for a while because he's like, what the fuck? What, again? Yeah, he just, it's emotionless. <laughs> Describe not silver. Um, medium build. Medium, build. medium uh, Medium. Just an average human <laughs> being. Quote medium. Unquote. <laughs> Their name, uh, middle. <laughs> That's good. Man, you're gonna make this real hard to kill these people, aren't you? Just yeah. that alone makes it a whole lot harder to kill them. <laughs> They've got a name. They can't be killed now. 
tell that to said, Bruce. Tell that to little Jeremy or sweet Jeremy. <laughs> yeah, you have given essentially an ult you've been given an ultimatum of sorts. <sighs> yeah. You two want to you, you two want to scope out those factions? I kind of just want to lie here for a while. The ground's very comfortable. Uh, and he starts walking off. To do if just my crew, if my crew is looking for me, tell them I'm preoccupied. All right. Well, we have a choice. I guess you better see what these two groups are. I think, uh, I think, Lug, he looks at Rusty, and he, uh, he kind of thinks about his chaotic influence, and he comes up with an idea. Yeah. And he, and he, and he kind of leans into Rusty. He, he doesn't really lean into Rusty so much as he kind of grabs his shoulder and pulls him closer. Uh, -huh. uh but... Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. What if... Mm -hmm. We uh, we make a bomb, uh -huh. and and we we well we we put it in one of them, in one of one of the bases. In, look, in... look, you can't just do that. Well, you can't just put a knife to someone's someone's throat, but it is only fair. Look, you're, you're talking about people who don't know what we're doing. Look. They didn't know what they didn't know what they were doing. I think they I think they knew exactly what they were doing, more than we do. Rusty Except he shouts put, over from lying down. Rusty has put his hands in his head. Or his head in his hands. Like, oh my god. Oh my god, please just let this whole situation end. This is a nightmare that has been going on for two months. <laughs> this is this is gonna do you guys guys know, it very fast. Do you guys know like why us like why why is it us we could keep coming across these things? Man. He just kind of looks at Rusty. <laughs> Rusty, whose head is still in his hands. He's rubbing his temples here and like, oh my god, please. This isn't fun. <laughs> like, we can just do that. I guess just, like, look at these two groups and, like, pick one. Look, Giuseppe cannot be banned from another town. <laughs> hey, that didn't be like the third one. Don't remember what the first. No, yeah, the you no. Know, he the amount of towns he's been banned from. He's banned from Bollywood. He's banned from Hollister. He may be banned from this one. I don't know. Maybe like one or two other ones. He got like fun tomatoes at. <laughs> yeah, this would be the third big one. And it's like, I guess I don't know. The, the one, last thing I want here is more bloodshed. Let's pick someone and figure out how to get through this without the, with the least amount of hurting people. Come on, just blow them up. He says. <laughs> You can only blow up people ethically. Ethically blown up persons. Okay. Somebody's right. just, just like rambling while lying down. I'm gonna walk off. I can't deal with you guys. <laughs> I'm walking off. Sippy finally gets up and goes back to the boat again. There's only so many hours in a day, you fools. So we've got to do this. I think your your band greets you and is like, "Hey, just in unison, like, up, what's up?" Sippy sighs. Just... It's happened again. <laughs> All right. We got another thing going on. Another fucking thing. In unison. Hand me a okay. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> they leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you guys go inside. Just throw me a bottle, please. They throw you an empty bottle. <laughs> you gotta get over your drinking problem. <laughs> just happy, just like begins like sucking on the bottle, like oh. nothing happening. <laughs> oh. <my God>. oh. <laughs> and then he just wanders off to find the others again. Okay. Uh, Rusty. <sighs> Um, since you're already kind of on the whole looking at the factions thing, mm -hmm. um, can I get, uh, yes, can. Mm, how about read a sitch? But like, you know, if you roll good, you just know the thing, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> or you could ask your actual questions. I don't know. It's up to you. Oh, short. Uh, Not great. I'm having a hard time figuring things out. You don't know anything like super important, but so... you know about them at least. I'm so stressed out. I can't focus on what anybody is saying. So the factions don't even have like actual names to them, just that they have two particular leaders, one named uh, who's called Vice President Mario Mikrowain. So and hold on. and Vice <laughs> Vice President who? Vice President Mario Mikrowain. Is he an uncle? It's M that's Mick as an M C R L W A I N. Okay. And then uh, Vice President Bobson Dugnut. Can we kill both of these fat factions? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm with Giuseppe what? here. That's like what the was, best option. What was their last name? But <laughs> Bobson Dugnut. <laughs> Dugnut with two T's. Dude, is this what you do all day, Josie? Come up with names? 
<laughs> I'll 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 lay this on the table. I got this from that Japanese like baseball game that had like quote unquote oh. American names. Oh yes, I love that. I love that. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, it is. Uh, I almost went with the one that said Sir Nandez. Sir but, Nandez. Like as a last name, but I was like, no, I gotta go with Bobson Dugna and Mario McElwain. God, God. Hey, can I? We augmented my my hand, right? To what do you mean? To use the brain puppet strings. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go fuck somebody. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay. And if you want, you can have this be the way that you learn shit. Yeah, I wanted to. I wanted to ask if I could use that instead to learn something new. Hold on. Yeah. Yes, I did. Did not. Hold on. Seems like a hectic day for that boy. It is. So... <laughs> okay, so in brain puppet strings, I gotta roll weird with a rando on on the side of the road, quote unquote road. You don't look for like one of the people who look like they're packing. Mm -hmm. mm, maybe you know what? Yeah, somebody who looks important. I guess. Okay. Somebody who at least knows. Somebody who looks like they know something. Okay, so you want me to roll first? Yeah, go ahead. All right. Um, well, actually, tell me what you do. Like, you're using this. What are you doing? Yeah, hey, I'm going to tap on somebody's shoulder. Hey, man. Hey, man, can I ask you a question real quick? I'm like, I think, yeah, I think you get one of the larger dudes and like, hmm. Yeah, patting them real quick, holding on to their shoulder. Not tightly, but, you know, enough. Just like a friendly shoulder pat. Just, yeah, hey, man, what's up? I'm having a rough day. Can you help me out? Uh, so I guess here it goes, everybody. Oh boy. Hot damn. Hot damn. Oh. So okay. uh, to read this out, when you have time and physical intimacy with someone, though you have uh, the violator glove, so you don't need that. You just need like uh, skin touch. I just need touch to um, communicated. You can plant a command in their mind. Roll plus a weird. On a 10 plus hold three, uh, center nine one. At your will, no matter the circumstance, you can spend your hold one for one. And I'll say this essentially lasts for like, you know, the kind of like larger uh scene that can go beyond this like session okay uh, you essentially have this dude kind of like yeah, he's you, have, you have like some mk ultra shit in this man's brain this person's my friend now quote just, unquote and we're just you watching but yeah we're just spend, watching uh, whilst you do this no no i've already you're, walked you're off spent you spend it one for one uh to inflict one harm and armor penetrating uh they take a negative one on whatever they're doing um or um they can fulfill your command well, I want him to fulfill my command of telling me what the fuck is up with the two factions, my man. What's okay. going on in Hidden? You know that um, I'm pretty sure fulfilling the command uses all the remaining hold. That's fine. All I need to know so is they just, they just Yeah, they just have a weird, really weird, like, uh, you know, compulsion to tell you this shit. Um, but what do you ask? <sighs> well, I guess I want to know what everybody stands for. Can I ask that? Or is that too broad? Mm. You can do you ask what well, should I mean are you asking it? Yes, I am. Hey man, well, well, I, I gotta I gotta know the deets. Uh I know there's this vice president Marrow and Vice President Bobson. What what's up with them? What they got? The two guys. Uh yeah, they got well Bobson Dugnut stands for all the right things in the world, like family and improvement. And Merkel Wayne stands for all the stuff that's uh right, like uh togetherness and overcoming adversity all right i'm sorry i laughed so hard i pulled out my ear <laughs> ox cord if you're looking for them you'll find any particular recruitment center in the biggest buildings on either side of this shithole all right thank you man been a big if you want i can give you some detailed instructions and mark it on your map oh uh, yeah please okay oh wait hold on I don't, I don't got a map oh hold on you do shuffles around uh, uh. Well, yeah, I'll give you my. Just, I'll give you my map. No, just it's write it on this. Just, just write it on this flag. It's okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> they draw a shitty map. A really shitty map. <laughs> All right, thank you, man. Um, regardless, uh, they also tell you a couple things about. Uh, the idea is that you join uh, each of them as their senators uh, to gain riches and fame. Um, they don't think they've seen any particular person with those riches and fame, but I'm sure they're out there. Is this a fucking pyramid scheme? Well, when you say it like that, you're, you're just this is multi-level marketing. Oh <laughs> uh, yes, MLM. They're both dying my... now. Oh uh, yes, MLM, my favorite genre. I'm not gonna lie. The only reason I know the term multi-level marketing is because of a fucking video that was titled "Anti MLM," and I was like, "What the fuck is this?" And it's like, "Oh, multi-level marketing." Yeah, thank I goodness. See. Um, yeah, you have that information. You did the good thing. You were smart, and you used your abilities to your best of your ability. I'm gonna use all my stuff soonish, but I'll wait until we investigate a bit more. Well, I guess. Uh, do you want to go towards them, or sh should I? 
uh, like, like, I figured since you like learned that the others would like just get the no the knowledge. So yeah, but Giuseppe's like going over all. So like one stands for what's right, and the other also stands for what's right. Why are these guys fighting? You know, I'm fighting. Because like one's the vice president, one's the vice president. And they both want to be vice president. Where's the president? That that, what the fuck is that? What the that fuck is a president? There's only the vice president. Vice president. Well, the vice president also wants to be vice president. Yeah. I wish I was back. They're both vice president, though. though. No, they're both vice president. One's only vice. -er. Yeah, and there can only be one vice president. Or so can't there be two? Well, you, there can't. There can't be. Or not? This well, is a pyramid can't. structure. Remember? They, someone read it once, and you, you can't have more than one. Okay, but what yeah. if? Okay. Can I take Sai home from this? Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, hang on. Hang on. You're in character. You're in character. All right, but. Yeah, you're just having an argument with like some local. Okay, but <laughs> if they're both if they're both vice president, you can have two pyramids, and that would be much better than one. You what the fuck's a pyramid? Much. What the fuck's a pyramid? Yeah, why are you guys talking about pyramids? Those are the things that like stood like guts in, from what I heard from one of my like music songs. <laughs> Look, I don't, want, <laughs> Look, I don't want anything to do with like, any, I don't want to do anything with guts. Like, I don't, I don't like you. I, I can't. I about? cannot do the rusty voice. <laughs> I just cannot right now. <laughs> Look, if you want to know more, just like go to one of their crew recruitment centers. They'll like, I I'm sure they'll like you to uh, get your number or something. Thank Fair you. enough. You've been a big help here. Thank you so much. I'm going to pass. Yeah, again. what? They're just like, yeah, no, this is a different guy. Oh, this is, someone that, this is someone that, uh, that um, <laughs> the other two were arguing with. I'm going to pat him and say, yeah, I'm going to say it to him. You've been a good help. Thank you. Pat him. Ugh, yeah, whatever, dude. Bye. Pressing, Jeffy begins pressing his glass bo beer bottle against his head. <laughs> it shatters. shatters. <laughs> we both go for the same God. shitty joke. He's doing it lightly. It's just like, he feels the cool glass on his head. He I'm just he's gonna going to leave. Can insane. I just leave? Bug walks in there and goes, how do I become vice president? <laughs> We're just gonna double hit in whole fucking political structure. Yeah, so, How so. do I introduce the monarchy again? What? This is millions. We're not doing the million situation here. I thought we fought against that. Yeah, but yes, and we did. Anyway, so what are y'all doing? Let's look, let's look I'm going to coach the recruitment like. centers. Okay, which which one are you going to? Mario's, I guess, the vice president's. Okay. Can we like split? I can like go check out. Um, I mean, remember the the others are joining the opposite like side, so they. Oh, but I still yeah. want to see. Okay. Oh, if we both join one, then they have no opposite side. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is this is this is not the kind of punishment I expected Josie would give us this session. I love this. I love the goofy. If that is what you want to do, then hey, look straight up, say it. Do you, do you guys know. think this would work? I want to know, know. Who, who's doing what first before I make a decision. I kinda I've got all day. I kind of want to sample both, so like, I don't know if we can like slid and check both and then decide. Giuseppe, can I join both? <laughs> yeah! No, I, mean, I, wanted to, I wanted to go through the recruitment process of both, see my options. We put Lug as the vice president. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> leaves, we leave him here. We can't just make our own faction. That would be. Yeah, that's what we're doing. He's the vicest president. This is awful. No, no. So the reason is there needs to be a vice vice president. So if one of us becomes vice vice president, then they can both be vice president. But that's why vice or president is there. I'm pretty sure. No, vice or is optioner. Optioner. Shut up. <laughs> Holy shit. So. Tell me. Okay, Bug is going. What do do? You guys decide. We're just gonna go to the opposite one. Okay, just to so scout it. They're gonna split up the scout. You're going to Bobson and I'm going to Mario. Yes. Okay. Um, I'll go with Lug for now. Okay, I'm by okay. myself again. <laughs> uh, we'll start with uh, Giuseppe and Lug real quick. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> so you go over to one particular side, and there's a relatively large kind of warehouse-looking building, um, and there's a long line of people. Uh, what do you do? Uh, could I do reputation my way to the front? Or does that not work? Um, I th certainly think you could. Pretty good. That's okay. You, like, you didn't, don't get a plus one, but you oh. do. Uh, they know that I am the I am the owner of that big ass boat, and that I'm probably important, and that I probably should get get to the front of the line. Okay. Like at first, you like kind of just get in the line, 
But then somebody kind of comes up like from next to you and is like, oh, no, 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 sir, please, this way. Uh, and takes you and Giuseppe like straight to the front. Like, um, gangway, important people coming through. Excuse me, peons. Uh, and then just kind of like brings you right up there and is like, oh, says the person at the desk. Uh, oh, hello, hello. Uh, my name is uh, my name is Mario Merkelwain, and it's a pleasure to meet you. And he sticks out his big hand. Uh, Mario Merkelwain is kind of a, a very wide and short dude. And he has a big smile, but the smile does not reach his eyes. Um, otherwise, uh, his dress is entirely like inconsequential, except for the broken pocket watch that he has in his shirt. Uh, he's reached out his hand to shake. Uh, well, he shakes back. Did I, shake I vigorously and heavily. did I come along with Lug? You came yeah. along. Yeah, I shake the hand, too. Oh, no, there wasn't a hand uh, set up for you. Oh, Sorry. Okay, never mind. I You're still in the there. line. <laughs> I, nice I to, meet, nice to meet you, Mr... Lug. Mr. Lug. Lug Pumper. Lug Pumper, Lug Pumper. That's a strong name. Family name, I bet. I bet it has a long, long history. Regardless, uh, it is very obvious that you should not be with these peons here. Uh, if you would like to join my wonderful little cadre of... Uh, we could like to call ourselves a family. You know, we're very, uh, uh, very close, very diligent. We we keep with our own. You know, uh, we stand for what's right in this in this godforsaken place. Uh, you know, those those horrible little dug nuts over there with their drugs and and whores. Uh, you got to stay far, far away from that. You hear? Uh, so what is this about? Why? Well, just been trying to make the community a better place. Trying to work for what's right and what's family oriented. What's family oriented? Uh, <laughs> Lug without a family. What the fuck is family oriented? Literally. What is that? I've never heard that. Uh, excuse Mr. Pumper. He's just a little confused on family stuff. Oh, understandable, understandable. Uh, and you would be his handler. Is that correct? Yeah, handler. I'm. Uh, I I, ma I manage a uh, uh, franchise on his boat. Not franchise, really. Just a little watering hole mm, a local business, franchise a businessy type man i understand very yep. i'm sure you have a long and studied history of your wonderful franchise uh regardless uh i impeach you beseech you in reach you to join my wonderful little uh family of people and together we can make hidden great um i want to can i do a roll here uh for what what are you doing i want to use one of my moves okay no what are you doing oh i'm making a roll here the the move isn't one that's like in universe kind of it's like the everybody I wanted to use everybody eats, and that just has to ask the MCs. Um, when you want to know something about someone important, roll plus hot. Um, yeah, you can just do that. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Stat check. Okay. Okay. You could ask one. I would like to. What would these good? Um, should I ask what's up? What do you guys think? Should I ask what's up with them, or who do they know, like, and trust? That's right. Maybe. That's oh, I know, but like, I always, I always like getting input. Um. Who do they know, like, and or trust? Hmm. You know that despite all the vitriol they fling at each other, that uh, he, uh, the Mario Mickerel Wayne, seems to have a pretty good relationship with Bobs and Dugnet regardless. Hmm. There never seems to be any more than, like, surface-level tension between them. Mm -hmm. But uh, by now, Mario has, uh, has kind of pushed up a, a little board with a paper uh, in front of him. He's like, can I expect your support, kind, wonderful sirs? I look towards Lug and like give him like a little like shrug since it ain't for nothing. We don't know what fame and doing. fame and riches you just become senators. Hmm. I need to talk to my other handle. Very good, very good. I'm looking for your lawyer, I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, I expect to see you before sundown. No one says no to Mario Mikrowain. Fucking lawyer. Right. Seppi like gives like a little like um. Just like a little mod or something, and then just like walks off with love. Okay, uh, Rusty. Well, I'll, I think this will be like the last scene of the of the session because okay. we're running out. Uh, not to hurry anybody, but no, it's um, okay. I'm getting anxious about OBS crashing again. So right. <laughs> so um, you've walked over towards uh the other side, yeah. um, and in a similar uh large building, uh, in a similar long line of people looking to sign up. Uh, what do you do? Uh, 